Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I wanted to share with you guys a really fun and delicious recipe. We're going to make Nutella pull apart bread. We're going to stuff the inside with globs of Nutella. We're going to sprinkle on the outside some cinnamon sugar, chopped pecans, and we're going to finish everything off with a delicious vanilla glaze. So for today's recipe, I'm actually going to be using the same exact dough that I use in my cinnamon roll recipe. So I'm going to post the link below the video here. You guys can head over and get step-by-step -step instructions for how to make this really easy and versatile yeast dough. I've lined a large bundt pan with some parchment paper and I'll also sprayed it down with some nonstick spray so that our bread comes out really nicely and cleanly. And now we can prep the rest of our ingredients. So in a large bowl, I'm gonna mix together half a cup of white granulated sugar with half a cup of packed brown sugar. We're also gonna add some spices. So I have two tablespoons or uh, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon and one teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Place that in there and then just use a spoon and toss everything together. I've melted half a cup of butter into a small bowl. I also have one cup of chopped pecans and I placed about a cup of Nutella into a disposable bag. You can use a Ziploc bag or a pastry bag, something that you could throw away. You don't have to wash it afterwards. And you can use either Nutella or any hazelnut chocolate spread. After your dough has proofed, you want to punch it down and then turn it out onto a floured work surface. Knead it one more time until it's really nice and smooth. Now we're going to section it into pieces flour my hands, the dough a little bit more. We're gonna divide it into half and then half again. And we're just gonna split it until we have nice small pieces. So you wanna portion the dough until you have 30 pieces total. And just keep dividing each piece in half until you have that number. So for assembling our bread, you wanna take one of the dough pieces and just spread it evenly, either with your hands or with a rolling pin. And then into the center, we're gonna add about a teaspoon or two teaspoons, depending on how big that dough piece is, of the Nutella. And you wanna use your fingers and just bring everything together. I'm gonna to form a little dumpling and then bring everything together to form a little dough ball. Just like this. Okay, so next, we're gonna pour a little bit of our melted butter over the top and this is gonna help our cinnamon sugar stip, stick to the dough a little bit better. Just like that. And we're gonna sprinkle some of our sugar over the top and you want to sprinkle over the sides on both sides and then we're going to place it into our bunt pan so i'm going to layer all the little dough balls on the bottom and just as you're making more and more you just want to layer everything on top and then sprinkle some of the nuts in between the layers once you have all of your dough put together you want to sprinkle the rest of the nuts over the top and i'm going to let this proof you want to set this into a warm corner of your kitchen, cover it with a kitchen towel and let it proof for about an hour until it's doubled up in size. I've let my dough proof for about 30 minutes and right before I'm gonna pop it into the oven, I'm gonna pour about three fourths cup of heavy cream over the top and this is gonna make our dough really nice and soft and just bring everything together. You just wanna pour it gently over the top I just took my bread out of the oven and it smells amazing. I baked it at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes and then turned the temperature down to 325 for another five to six minutes and you just wanna make sure that the top doesn't burn. So once you take it out of your oven, you can flip it over onto a platter. So I'm just gonna place the platter over the top first and then we're gonna flip everything over just like that. Perfect. You wanna just lift the pan right off the bread at this point, you can also remove all that parchment paper. Perfect. The parchment paper is really helpful. Once you start taking your bread out of the pan, it's gonna come out really nicely and cleanly. If you wanna add a sweet glaze to your bread, you can mix together three cups of powdered sugar with half a cup of milk and a teaspoon of vanilla, and you just wanna whisk it together with a fork until it's really nice and smooth. And now it's time to give our Nutella bread a try. I just wanna say the aroma from this bread is absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna add a little bit of extra uh, sugar glaze over the top, just to add a little bit of sweetness. And when you start pulling apart the bread, it's gonna look so, so good. That melted Nutella on the inside is gonna start oozing out and it just looks so good. So I'm gonna get a little bit of everything. Mmm. This is like cinnamon roll and Nutella heaven. Just the combination of these two flavors are so fantastic. You get the classic cinnamon roll flavor with the uh, cinnamon sugar, the chopped pecans, and then you get that sweet surprise on the inside, that oozy Nutella, and everything combined together just tastes 
so, so good. You could also enjoy uh, this with a glass of cold milk or some coffee or some tea. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video recipe. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll get updates every time I post new videos. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. If you do make this recipe, you could share pictures of it with me online on Instagram.